Okay, we're using a search engine. I'm going to type download Zello for, and it pops up PC. We'll take you to this page. We're just going to get the basic one. I'm going to click here to download. It's going to look like this. Tells you about it. It also says that it's available for iPhone, Android, and Windows Phone 8. Save the file. I like to save my stuff to my desktop where I'm working. Save yours to wherever you'd like. Okay, once you have Zello installed, you're going to have to create a Zello account by clicking on Create Account. It's pretty simple. You're going to fill out your username, password, confirm your password, and your email address. I've already set up my account. I use my call sign. Go ahead and log in. Here's all the channels that I have already in my channel list. They call them contacts. What I'm going to show you is how to add the DX Ham Radio channel for licensed ham radio operators. Click on tools and go to add channel. Here, go ahead and just type in DX ham radio. It's the very first one at the top and it says that it's FCC amateur radio license and QRZ page required. Click next and it will explain to you in the description that it is required to join this channel. Stay logged in, displaying your call sign, and an administrator or moderator will grant you access as soon as possible. Use ham radio etiquette when communicating. This channel is cross-linked with repeaters and echo link nodes. For details on cross-linking your system, contact the admin SDR. We're going to click Next and Finish. Now when you look in the list, it's added DX Ham Radio. The blue symbol or target represents that the channel is online. If you double click the channel, it'll open a conversation box. This is not where you communicate unless you plan to send a text. Most people have a little bit of confusion with that. Your communication PTT push to talk buttons are down here. And you have a lock button too. It comes with a lot of features. You might want to go through the menu one by one to see all the features that they have. You can also right click on the specific channel and there's more features. You can disconnect entirely from the channel. Now you'll notice that the target has changed and it's grayed out. Connect to the channel. Show current online users. There's currently a few users in there and one administrator. To go back this arrow up in the right hand corner is what you use to go back. You can report this channel as being inappropriate. Turn on solo mode which you'll have to look in the help uh, for more information on. I'm not going to cover that right now. You can show your contact history you can share an image. If the channel administrator allows it, you can share an image from your computer or your phone if you're using your phone or computer. 
Again, you can also send a text message like we talked about earlier. You can mute the channel, meaning stay on it, recording uh, everything that's going on, not losing that information, however not having to listen to it. You can add it to your favorites list, and you can show the channel profile, which we saw earlier. Here, it has the rules and a few other important notes about the channel. Well, I hope this helped you.